All right, this afternoon has been a warm and rather muggy afternoon. You can look outside at our time lapse, and for the most part, it's been partly cloudy. But nearby, there have been some showers and thunderstorms creeping in today, more so than we've seen since the weekend when we had some activity out there. But right now, High Point still looking pretty good outside, but there's some darker clouds on the horizon. As we look at our numbers, 87 right now, the high was 88, our low was 67 degrees this morning. We've got 80s most places, but where there have been some showers, temperatures are coming down. Look at these 60s in the western Piedmont and Foothills and 78 in Winston, then it's 80s from there east and to the south, there's some 70s mixed in. Now, as we look at the satellite radar composite, you see the showers and storms that are out there. No warnings right now, but there is, again, some thunder in some places. Most of these would be storms that might produce a 30 mile per hour wind gust right now. One of the heaviest is just on the northwest side of Thomasville at the moment, moving up in the direction of High Point. So in High Point, you'll be getting some rain here shortly. Then you can see some rain coming up across uh, southern Forsyth, moving up toward Kernersville. Back farther to the west, rain in Iredale County will be coming into Davie County and northwestern parts of Rowan. And as we expand our picture, there's some severe weather warnings back in East Tennessee. That's where the actual cold front is. That front slides through tonight behind it, it becomes more calm, calm tomorrow and more activity tomorrow will be down in the coastal part of our state. Once these fronts move through, they're really going to bring some refreshing air to us. At the same time, this front's going to put a barrier at the coast and keep Lee out to sea. So we dodged a bullet with this one. Had we not had this front, who knows what would have happened? We may have had a landfalling hurricane coming up within a couple of days on our coast. So I'm glad that's not happening. But there's the storm. Winds are at 115 with gusts to 140. It's moving at a crawling speed of seven miles per hour to the northwest. Now is making that turn more to the due north with time staying well off of our coast, weakening with time as it lifts to the north. But it's interesting to track these things long term. You can also see the water temperatures on here. It's going into colder water, but what's left of it is going out to the North Atlantic and one model is even taking it over to Europe. And that's pretty common with storms that are strong enough to stay together that long. Our beach forecast is 84 with some showers and thunderstorms tomorrow and 84 degrees with sunshine on Thursday. In the, in the mountains, we look for 71 tomorrow and 70 degrees on Thursday, heading to some really nice early fall weather, 49 degrees tomorrow night up there. In the Piedmont this evening, mostly cloudy, some scattered showers and thunderstorms and 74 at 8 o'clock. Overnight down to 66 and we'll see any showers in pretty early, so it shouldn't be anything going on to keep you awake tonight. And then tomorrow we look for a high temperature of 81 and partly cloudy. Here comes the best. Look at this, these numbers. 70s for highs, lows dipping to the 50s. We're still holding to 53 on Friday night. And then we're back near 80 over the weekend. A tiny chance for any showers. Overall, a nice stretch of true early fall weather is setting in that's going to be hanging around.